Hello everyone. I've been uh I wanted to cover the questions that have been I've been asked frequently and a lot of times I get people that are like they want to buy a snake for the first time and they ask what kind of uh snake should they get. And uh right now what you're looking at is a bow constrictor. I had this girl since she was a little baby. First of all, for any snakes for first time buyers, I would strongly recommend that you always buy your snake as a baby first, you know. That way you can develop a relationship and kind of like tolerance with your snake. Her name is Lolita. Let's try and get her face. She's a big girl. She's a female. I make sure that I keep her fed up because I do, I do plan, you know, I do, she does breed, she does give litters for me. So she has to have some type of um, certain amount of fat to be able to produce litters, healthy litters for her to stay healthy at the same time. But, um, Bow constrictors are one of the coolest uh, boa snake species, in my opinion, to have as their first pet because they do get bad. There's some pros and cons. One thing, these guys are very patient. They're really patient animals. They have a really docile temperament, and it just allows you to you see how, like, it's just a constant movement. They're really interactive. One of those, you know, I remember when I was growing up, the first thing that was important to me when choosing a snake is that I wanted something that I could put around my shoulders, carry with me, and doing what I'm doing right now. So that was really important to me. Uh, another thing that is uh, pretty cool about a bow constrictor is that they're not really hard. They're not extremely picky eaters. Like I'm feeding this girl right now, you know, she gets uh, triple X large rats, but they're not alive. They're um, pre-killed already and frozen thawed out. So it really is an easy process to feed her. Um, the temperament, they're not really sensitive. So this is like, you know, for a novice, I really feel like that, you you know, they do have that. They can tolerate a somewhat level. It doesn't, have, you know, a little neglect or should I say just a little, you know, if you're like off on temperatures or humidity or something, it's not like going to show immediate um, impact on them. They do have a little somewhat tolerance. Uh, another cool thing about having a bow constrictor is that, you know, they really are like, I call them gentle giants because as you can see, like Lolita here and all her babies, all her babies she ever given are pretty uh, calm. I mean, I'm able to grab them. I'm even like, you know, I wouldn't recommend doing this, but just to kind of show you their temperament, you can grab them by their face. And if I want to take something out their mouth, she's pretty cool with that. Really nice bow constrictor. You see, she's got such a gorgeous face. Now they do have, uh, they will bite if you give them reasons to. So I'm going to say that now. Have I been bitten by a bow constrictor? Yes. Majority of the bow constrictors that I've been bitten by were babies out of fear. And I've have been bitten by, uh, recently by a boa, a little bit fraction of the size. And it was only because she wasn't one of my boas. I had purchased a boa from someone else that was a sub adult. And, you know, I had to get acquainted with her. So she didn't know me. I don't know her. So she bit me. But yes, now some of the uh, cons of having a boa constrictor, they do get big in size. Lolita here, she's a probably about um, closing in on nine feet. You can see she's a pretty big girl, so you are gonna require a closure that's gonna be at least a four, four foot uh, tank or enclosure that at least is gonna be like a four by three or you know, something that's gonna be somewhat adequate of size. Um, you know, that's one of the cons in there. Another con is, of course, is that as they get bigger, they are going to require bigger meals. So that's going to, you know, cost you a little bit more money to feed them. And other than that, that's that's the only cons that I can think of with a bow constrictor. These animals are really cool species. They do not have uh, eggs. So if you're looking for a snake and then later on want to breed and you're like really into seeing eggs hatch, this is not the animal for you. But they actually give live birth which is really really cool in my opinion you actually get to witness i actually got a video on her that i put on, on the video the link actually shows lolita giving birth she have had babies for me for 2018 and she also has had babies for me in um 2020 so lolita's taking a break for 2021 you know just to kind of get her size back up and get her you know just give her a little break because it does play a toll on them and uh, if you have any questions, anything, you know, definitely leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. This is Jeff Ali with Exo Boas. Thank you for watching. Take care, guys.